Hey guys, me Ninja back here for another weapon ways video. This one's going to be kind of different because today I'm going to go over a website that's been making a lot of guys for the game since I think I've been keeping up for like two weeks now. I think it's been out a week or two, something like that. But it's called Pry One GG. We're going to take a look at it. Uh, they have a lot of different gotcha games, but you know I'm gonna be focused on the weather waves. They just updated, I believe, like an hour ago. I was driving and saw a notification they update a lot of things. But right now we're going to look into the beginners guide section and you already know about the you already know about the game is uh, they have a section for assist requirements, which I did do a video going over that and what I think is kind of high for the recommended. But you know, a lot of people got like a lot of good game PCs nowadays, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, they have a combat section. Uh, combat is very dynamic while building teams without three resonators. I own only one can be on the field at a time, but you can switch between them at any time. And there's a switch mechanic that integrates into characters' kits as well. So I I did not I didn't know or I guess I forgot, but I didn't know it was only three. I never got to peep that really looking at it too much. But that's really cool. Um then they have a section for the gacha system and just things to point out, there's a zero point eight percent chance of getting a five star. There's a whole nother section for the gacha. And there's resonators, or the resonators are basically the playable characters. And their stats that they could have is HP, attack, defense, stamina, crit rate, crit damage, NG regen, renaissance skill damage, which this is increased damage of renaissance skill, base attack damage, heavy attack damage, renaissance liberation damage, which increases damage of renaissance liberation, which is just another word for their ultimate. They also have elemental damage bonus, resistance, and healing bonus. And they are seven different elements in the game. Glacial, which is ice. Fusion. Oh my goodness, shut up, computer. Uh, fusion, which is just, I believe, oh my goodness, that's fire. Electro, electric, aerial, air, spectral, which I think is just basically light in this game, and havoc, which is like dark. And there are five different weapon types Broadway, Gauntless, Pistols, Rectifier. I still really know what that one is too, too much. I was trying to look at, at the weapon. I kind of think it's like a the book sword weapon sword thing something like that i don't know and then just a regular sword uh they have like a whole bunch of different guides uh character level ascension which is something i didn't really get a chance to look at uh resident level ranging from one to 90 this was that level up uh different stuff like that you know you would put points into different like uh things like attack heavy stuff like that i think that's where you put your points into uh Renaissance chain says web band wave bands, I think that's what it's called. Uh, abilities and passive abilities. Each writer has six upgrades. I guess that's like the C6 sort of version of those, like from Genshin and whatnot. Uh, they also have like different weapon section, the echo section, which we're definitely going to look at a bit more in depth because that was something I was really confused about and a lot of other people confused about as well. So echoes are other type of games. Certain function as armor or accessories, like just RPG, kind of like with Genshin, like your goblet, your crown, stuff like that. Each echo has an active ability. There are five echo slots. Uh, the echo in the first slot will be your active echo. So like that's your like partner one. A echo will have a cost between one through four. Each other has a cost of ten at the start, but can be upgraded to twelve. I guess that's the real high you can do. Although it's fourteen, but I guess it's twelve. Uh, there are four different echo classes. This is I wrote, kind of wrote this in my notebook, but at least now I don't have to <laughs> carry a notebook around with, with me. Uh, there is four. There is common, elite, overlord, and calamity. I know there was calamity. I didn't know that one. I knew there was like a four cost. I know there's two different four costs. So common ones will have HP, attack percent, and defense. Elite will have HP, attack, defense, energy regen, elemental damage bonus and and calamity you have hp attack defense crit rate crit damage and heal bonus as well but i know one thing that i saw people talking about is since the cost is max 12 people will probably do having a cost i have in a notebook give me one second let me so people would try to one run a cost four two cost three and two cost one is what i saw some people talking about so maybe that'll be how the format is but again i don't know we'll see when it come out uh each echo has uh common has fly hp elites fly attack and i guess the rest of them just fly attack honestly uh and the game systems union level is basically your account level 
uh, your wander level, travel level, uh, level, whatever. You know, same as that. Uh, they have different quests going through. It's not stuff to you grade too too much. Have to look into. Uh, there's trophies, and there's a pioneer podcast, which is just like the the battle pass sort of. Yeah, it's just basically power pass, and you could buy. I think it costs yeah ten dollars during the the beta, but to get like the extra levels into it and the rewards, you could do the twenty dollar one, which is probably. I guess it depends on what you want to do. You can do that, whatever. Uh, they got through different game modes, boss challenges. They have like a lot, a lot of information. I'm just really trying to pull out the real stuff that could apply to me right now. They also have a whole character section for each character. Look at Alto right here. They have like, all the numbers, but honestly, this is from the test beta too. Anything could change, so don't like take this page like whole wholeheartedly. But this is definitely a lot of good things to look into just to like get your footing with the game. They got character stats and I don't know who is I can't really sort of who has a, the best stat in what. But you guys you probably just gotta go through that yourself. They have the list of echoes and whatnot. There's fire or there's ice, fire, dark, wind, light. Wait no, whoa, whoa, whoa. Void. I guess having void. I thought oh, okay, so it's like having and void. And then health, and then this one I don't not know what it is too too much. Moonlit cloud. I think that's just I don't know. I had to relook really that more. And they have different weapons. All the weapons you have right now, yeah, not too too many here. But I know these five star weapons are I think the ones that you get just from uh pulling on the. I think we get it. You know we get a free five star weapon when we reach like. Adventure, not rentering, whatever it's called, like 45 on our account level. They got some of that here list. Like I said, a good thing they don't got nothing here because you really can't make a tier list, nothing right now. But yeah, they have like a whole bunch of stuff. Like you just take the time to look through this website. It's really good to have a reroll guide. <laughs> if it's a reload screen, bro. So it takes a long, it takes, oh, this is different. Okay, okay. By the way, it does not have a guest login option. You have to create an account free roll. And, oh, okay, that's that's definitely something we need to look into. Uh, it takes around 35 to 45 minutes to finish the tutorial to reach the moment where you can actually start pulling. The rates of the game are pretty low, which is 0 0.8. For a five star, it might take you a whole day roll to get one. There's a high chance it'll be somebody who you don't want. Yeah, definitely somebody I don't want. I know two characters don't want right now. You guarantee you obtain a five star character for non vanner with their 50 pools. Then, so you got to go through as a prologue. And these are characters you can pull and whatnot. So, I guess re rolling for people is going to take a bit a bit of time. And here is the echo set bonuses. Echoes will come with set bonuses. Equip the multiple echoes from the same set will provide additional bonuses to the resonator, aka your character. There are created of nine different sets of each of them with two to five piece bonuses. No, equipping the same echo multiple times will not be counted as a set bonus. Is also something I was looking into last night as well. So, you can't just spam the same big boss or like small dog dude whatever uh there's frost void thunder clessel light judean glow endless renaissance molten drift severa gale at least how you say that one have eclipse and moonlit clouds so frost is just more ice damage thunder electro damage light more spectral damage but judean glow is more hp uh bonus increase and when performing outro skill attack the entire team the resonator increased by 15% less than 30 seconds. So that's gonna be really good for like obviously your healer. Switch them out and just have everybody have a tag bonus. Everything's like really, you know, just moonlit clouds is actually MG region. So that's pretty cool too. Uh with some other things we look at real quick, not go too too much into it. Uh let's look at game modes. Oh, we are the game modes. Uh simulation field. Uh so this is kind of like when you go on on the uh, world map for like Genshin, like get the the little swirls that have like the XP uh books, and then the swirls that got like the money one. They have one for wrestler XP material, weapon XP credits with end game money, and you know echo material. Uh, it costs forty weight plate to do one simulation field, so forty uh energy. It looks like we have two hundred and forty going into the game. Hope they really keep it that high because that's a pretty good number. Uh, this is where you get ascension materials from the forgery challenges. 
then there's a boss challenge book where you can like see where all the bosses are on the stage uh tactical field cleanup uh this rewards two number materials echoes and exp materials and it costs 60 way you play for these and the boss one costs 60 as well just to keep that in mind and there's the weekly challenges which i don't know who this guy is it's, uh, that's that's an actual human person uh they cost 60 dude the weekly bosses as well and they have like the tower sort of thing so like sort of what's it called the spiral abyss sort of deal and it's an appeal on any game which i'm not gonna really touch into too much but yeah it's like this website has everything you really need to look into right now and i like how you don't have anything for the tier list because as i said in the previous video tier lists don't mean shit. don't look at them don't really matter uh you can look at the weapons it's, the numbers might change but i think for the base the base is basically going to be the same i would say maybe they'll switch numbers around so you can look at that you look at all the echoes in the game which there's quite quite a lot and that's just oh goodness he yeah, has a lot like, uh character stats i wouldn't look into too much but you can look at all the characters right now but yeah this is a pretty good website to put in your bookmarks and weatherways releases in 16 days seven hours and 46 minutes i'm super hyped for this game I have like a whole notebook decades all the information I've been gathering. So having this website makes it a lot, a lot more easier to have everything, you know, put in like one place. And they have their official links. Please check this website out. Please check them out on YouTube, Discord, Facebook. Check out everything they have. I'm linked the website in the description below. You want to look through? Go ahead. Yeah, have a good day.